to my channel. In today's video, we are going to recreate this piece. So I actually wasn't able to film this when I painted this um, messy forest style. Um, I'm not sure if we can try to recreate it like super similar to this painting, but we are gonna try. Um, let's start with the materials. I'm using this Blue Pine Arts sketchbook. And the paper is cotton, um, the texture is rough, so we are gonna use that for our landscape. I noticed that landscapes look better on rough paper compared to um, cold press or hot, hot press. For the paint, I'm gonna be using Art Philosophy um, Artist Grade Tubes, which I have poured into half pans. Then for the brush, I'm going to use my silver brush, black velvet, and I will also be using a flat brush. So this is from Princeton Neptune series. You can use any flat brush that you have. And I'm not yet sure, but we might add some texture. And I might use this Surikomi brush. But if you don't have this, um, you can use a deer foot brush as well. So let's start by wetting the paper this is just clean water i'm gonna try to tilt the page so that you can see the wet portion okay so i think i'm just going to wet about just like three-fourths of this page so I'm just gonna grab some greenish yellow color and we're just going to dab and just let it um, bleed we can grab some hookers green And let's get some indigo. And grab some hookers green again. You can use sap green as well. So the page is getting a little dry. Just gonna paint some more water. Then you can add some brown to your greens just to create like a different shade. Okay, now I want to add a little bit of orange. This is permanent um, yellow orange. Let's add a little bit of red. So I'm just um, letting it move. We can tilt the paper. add some permanent yellow deep so as you can see I'm just sort of adding any color that I want okay so I'm gonna try to wet this part as well I think I want to paint some sky portion and I'm gonna grab some cobalt blue just a light uh, blue shade And just try to spread that on wet paper. And then you can grab a purple color. I 
I think I'd like to add some more trees over here. So I'm going to wet this part. And then let's add some hooker's green mixed with a little bit of um, indigo. And then at the top part of this tree, I'm going to add some greenish yellow. And I think I want to add some contrast to this painting. I like, I'd like to add something dark. Let's add burnt umber to our green. Okay. Okay, so now let's try to add some um, trunks. I'm gonna use burnt umber, any brown that you can find in your palette. And then let's just try to add some sticks. I think that this would look better if we left more white spaces. So I think I overdid some areas. Okay, then we can add some more details later. But for now, I'm just gonna grab some water again and going to paint at the bottom let's add um, let's add some Prussian blue so this Prussian blue has a little bit of green from the palette and I'm just experimenting with the colors you can use any color that you want and just be loose with this painting okay so I think we have to wait for this to dry before we can move on Okay, so this is already dry and I've just mixed some green and brown in my palette. I think I'm just going to dab another layer of color. And you can also use our Surikomi brush to add some texture. And I'm gonna use my round brush to just lightly blur some areas so what I do is I just add some areas that are like darker I add some more contrast then some areas I just leave it as is Okay, so I'm using my Surikomi brush again. And just trying to add more texture that will look like um, leaves. Okay. 
Okay, so I think we can add a bit of indigo so that it's darker. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some greenish yellow. Um, I think I like lighter green color at the top. Okay, so you can also use your round brush and start dabbing like this. So you can add some texture if you don't have a surikomi brush. You can tilt your brush. So I don't usually paint trees, that's why I'm going back and forth. And just observing what this looks like. So if I feel like something is wrong, I'll go back and like try to fix it. So now I have my burnt umber and I'm just trying to add some branches in between the leaves. And we can add some more definition to some of the trunks that we painted a while ago. Okay, then now let's move on to the orange tree. I'm gonna get a permanent red with a little bit of yellow orange. Okay, so I'm gonna try to use my Surikomi brush again just so I can add a bit of like texture. So we can smudge some areas and I'm adding a little bit of permanent brown just to uh, create um, some shadow. Now let's grab some brown and add some branches. Almost done. I think I want to add some violet on this portion. Okay, and then we can add some birds. I'm just gonna use, well, you can use ivory black or indigo. And just going to paint some tiny birds. I'm 
Okay, so I'm not so sure if it looks like a bird, but I'm trying. So for me, landscape is a little difficult. It's not something that I always paint, so I think you do need a lot of practice. So I think I'd like to add a little bit of orange in this area just to sort of balance it out. Just some like pops of orange. So we are done. I know it's a little messy, but I um, kind of prefer it that way. Just a little loose and a little abstract. Um, I think that the left side of this journal is better and has more texture. Because as I was putting on paint in this part, um, it seemed like the paper was smoother. Maybe this is the back portion of uh, the paper. Usually the front side is um, the front side has more texture than the back portion is usually a bit smoother. So I guess um, that made a big difference as well. That's why we didn't have a lot of texture in this uh, painting. So I guess we can try painting this again, but maybe on the left side of the sketchbook. So I hope that you enjoyed this simple um, video. And if you're able to recreate this, I'm pretty sure you can do a better job than me. Um, do tag me on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.